You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Well, I'm here with Steve Hoffman, the CEO and co-founder of Founderspace, and we're here to talk about how to close an investment round or how to talk an angel or, you know, stuff like that we're going to talk to Steve about because he's an expert about that, and that's why he runs this accelerator and co-working space here at, at Founderspace uh, in San Francisco here. But And these, this, I'll tell you, share with you a few things I learned. Sure. So number one is um, you have to set limits on your investors. So investors will always sit on the fence and not make a decision until the last minute, mm. until they have to. And the reason for this is they're seeing a ton of deals. And is your deal better than another deal, better than another deal, better than a, that, the six other startups I saw yesterday and the you know, 26 last week? Is it better? Mm. How do they make this decision? They have to feel a sense of urgency, a sense that this deal will not be here next week or next month. You know, yeah, yeah, they yeah. can't just sit around and say, because trust me, the first time I started raising money, I had the worst experience and I was so bad, right? So I would, I went out there to this, these investors okay. and they were like, oh, the, what you're doing is really cool and amazing and blah, 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 and blah, you blah. you were feeling good. And I was like, yeah, we got the deal done. And then they would say like, send me this document, send me that, like, let's have another meeting. Oh, I want you to talk to so-and-so. Oh, can you go talk to... And it went on and on from like oh my one gosh. week to two weeks to four weeks to two months to three months. Nine months later, we still weren't funded. I was talking to the same investors. You have to say to them, I'm talking to you now. There's only going to be so much room in this round of investment. And, it, and I don't have time to come back to investors I've already talked to. So if you're going to commit, I really need your commitment now, and you can get in the round. I call it pushing for a no. You push them until they say yes or no. And if they say yes, then they have to close now. You're not going to wait. You're not going to come back to them. If they say no, you're, you fill up that slot with another investor.